One goal of the ATLAS experiment is to search for this particle and to reveal its properties. And why is a recurring word? Why only 12 basic particles? Why only three families? It's the why of our physics, as developed over centuries, coming to this point in time, point 2000, you could call it. Thirty-four countries cooperate in ATLAS. The concentration point is CERN, Geneva. Here, the ATLAS detector will be integrated in the LHC, the accelerator that is the next step in our quest for answers. Beams of protons will collide with each other at an amazing energy of 14 TeV. Here we find superconducting magnets on a scale never before constructed. This huge accelerator, assembled in the same tunnel as its predecessor, is the new tool for a variety of experiments. And Atlas will be one of the detectors. The particle's journey is tracked, measured by different layers of the detector. One, at the heart, the inner tracker. It measures the paths of electrically charged particles. Two, wrapped around it, the calorimeter. It measures the energy of particles from the collision. Three, the muon spectrometer surrounds the calorimeter. Muons are like electrons, but heavier, and these particles are not absorbed by the calorimeter. The momentum of these particles can be determined with high precision. There's one major design aspect, as in the accelerator, the magnetic field. Extremely powerful and accurate as it has to be, the magnet above all, requires space. Atlas measures 45 meters long and 22 meters high. J'ai essayé de trouver, j'ai dit tiens, pourquoi pas trouver une solution où il n'y aurait pas ce problème de, mm -hmm. de, de glisser, d'engasser quelque chose au risque d'abîmer. Beyond euh, dispute bon, ça, is the goal of primaire. accuracy. Strange, at places inside this huge machinery, the precision reaches one hundredth of a millimeter. A group of people. How could one group of people build a giant like Atlas? How could one country? Atlas is composed of many sub-detectors of many parts that take time, take cooperation worldwide. You may wonder how scientists from all those countries communicate. Clarity is needed, agreement into fractions of millimeters, sometimes even further. So this will be the work in the years leading to 2005, the time it will take to create a fully operating atlas.
Hey, dat is een hele mooie. Ik heb die nog een beetje vergroot ook. Deze? Niet. Deze? Ja. ja. Finally, there's the aspect we can hardly call an aspect, data technology. How far can we go in the design of computer systems? Atlas is going to have to handle extremely large amounts of data. Detected, converted, written to memory, communicated and analyzed all over the world. Physicists will gather their data and send it to their home institutes. The international family, different backgrounds but the same scientific goal. Traveling with Atlas into the microcosmos, into an area of unknown physics. We do have some ideas of what to expect, but are alert for surprises. <laughs> 